Hello ladies and welcome to today's video where you're gonna have plenty of motivation to clean up the house and pack for a quick getaway. This was our getaway for spring break for a couple of days. If you are new here, my name is Marta. I am a full-time working mom of two and on my channel you're gonna see a lot of content about house and time management for working moms. So if that is the content that is of interest to you, make sure that you subscribe down below and hit that notification button. So we are starting off with changing out my fruit basket. I have been wanting to get one for a while. The old one I had, as you can see, was very wide and I thought it was just taking too much space on my counter. Clearly my kitchen is on a smaller size, so I want as little as possible to be on the counter so I have more space to like food prep and stuff. So this was one of those things I was very excited to finally have in my kitchen. And I cannot believe how that little change made so much room. And you're actually going to see in the next week's video, I also got rid of that coffee maker and exchanged it for a smaller one that I actually remember I have <laughs> somewhere else in the house. Because once you start decluttering, you know that you're going to want to do more and more. But one of the things that I really like to do before I go on vacation is to make sure that I leave a clean house behind, even if it is for just a few days. I don't like to come back from vacation and on the way back thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to clean the house. Like that is not just the mood I want to be in. I want to, when I'm coming back, when I'm relaxed, I want to continue with that and be just feeling more positive than going back to a house that is messy. So kitchen is the one that always gets very cluttered when I'm preparing to leave for vacation because we take snacks, we take food. There is just a lot of prep that is happening, especially when you're going on like on a road trip. So that is one of the first things I wanted to tackle. When you stepped into my life, such a magic feeling when you tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now, I could have gone so far It hurts to realize we're parted Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are And I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again just know things will never be the same Like strangers again Like strangers again I thought we'd never fall And let me know in the comments, did you go anywhere for spring break? Did you do anything fun? Did you have a staycation? Uh, let me know what you did. Now, I don't know about you, but as a working mom, I do like my routines for cleaning, for organizing, for just like, you know, morning and evening. That's how I get more done. That's how I feel more productive. So anytime there is something that's happening that's kind of out of ordinary, like going on vacation, going on a little getaway, that's obviously changing in my typical routines. So what I do is, you know, I plan ahead 
knowing that if something is coming up, I'm going to have more things to do, like, you know, pack, for example. So the days leading up to it, I will usually do, you know, more cleaning one day versus spreading it out over a few days. So that leaves me that time for packing and making sure we take everything before we leave. Another thing that I found really helpful for me is to have one central location or like a bin or in this case my daughter's bed where I like to put away the clothes throughout the week or a few days before we leave that we want to take with us. That way, you know, my kids don't take something to wear right before we leave on vacation and then I have to do laundry, you know, right before. It's just less stressful. So I usually put some things away and then when I'm starting to pack, then I add to it as needed. And when it comes to taking clothes for my kids, I am more on a take more than you need. So I will take one extra pajama. I will take, depending on how many days we're going for, at least one extra outfit, just in case they spill something or they get dirty beyond like being able to actually function. So I try to do that for the kids. For me, I will just usually take one extra t-shirt or something like that. But I just find it less stressful to know that just in case I do have an extra outfit. And I try to, when I pack, to put them, you know, my son's clothes in one pile, my daughter's clothes in one pile, um, and mine in a third one. My husband took his backpack with him, so he has his clothes in there. But that way, when we get to a hotel, it's easy for me to find things. Hey, how do I reach you? And those are a few of the things I took for my kids for the car and when we are there. Just some like um, activity books for my son, like brain teasers. Um, he really enjoys those. I'm going to link them down below. Some stickers and coloring pages for my daughter because that's what she's into. Some crayons, paper, and just some Uno cards. And they really, really enjoyed those canoodle things. They played with that the most. Anytime we would have a break when we came back from the swimming pool to the hotel, that's what they did. So I'm definitely going to link it down below. It's something I would highly recommend to take for a road trip or anytime you go for vacation. <laughs> And what I'm doing over here is just packing a bag specifically for the water park. We were staying in a hotel with the water park, so I wanted to make sure we had a bag just that we could take every time we were going. Clearly, we were changing you know, the swimsuits when they were wet and stuff like that. But it was very helpful because when we arrived, we were not able to get into the room right away, but we were able to go to the water park. So it was just very handy to just grab one bag and go. Calling you over, calling you to my life We're up and away, we'll run the world together So up and away, come again, it's now or never We're going away, you never know what we will find behind the line Find behind the line 
course, I had to pack some food with us. Clearly, we were not going on a plane. We were just um, driving a car to the water park. So I wanted to make sure that I have some food and snacks for my kids, not just for the car ride, but particularly for the hotel room. So my kids are extremely picky eaters. So I wanted to make sure I get food that I know they're going to eat. So I don't have to stress out about what I'm going to get them for dinner or lunch. So I took a couple of those uh, containers of soups that I have made a few weeks before that were in the freezer, some meatballs for my son, some mac and cheese, bread for sandwiches. It was just me. It truly made it so much easier for me. Um, they were not complaining. Um, they were eating basically what they eat at home. So that's so that really worked out really well. Plus it definitely saved that a lot of time and money. So we didn't have to go to a restaurant and get a takeout for every single meal. So we have one bag of basically food and snacks that don't have to be in a cold. Then I had my cooler where we put, you know, drinks, yogurts, things that my kids really like to eat. A big bag of uh, salad that was easy to make for lunches for me and my husband. And of course, our giant uh, suitcase, which actually was not that packed, but it looked like it. Then I had a backpack for like kids' things in the car, books and snacks for the car, and then that bag for the water park. Give me a feeling if you believe in me, hold me in land. And that is all I have for you in this video. I hope you found it helpful and it motivated you to tackle whatever it is on your to-do list. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.